Wake up. Wake up. Rise and shine. <laughs> you look so peaceful while you were sleeping. Hmm? What with the cross? Are you expecting it to push me away? Here. Let me take that and put it away. I'm sure you're wondering why your cross doesn't hurt me. Well, it's simple, really. I'm not religious. Humans who are turned, who are religious in life, religious objects will repel them. As I told you before, some people didn't get the choice to be turned. They still pray to their gods or goddesses, hoping it will make a difference in the end. I feel for them. I really do. Yes, your family is safe, just like last time. I see no need in hurting them. I just want nothing to get in the way. You are surprised that I returned? I wouldn't be. As I tried your blood when I left, it was most delicious and sweet, like a fine blood wine, for it was most disappointing when it was gone. I savored every drop. So it's only natural that I return for more. I've noticed your finger is healed up nicely. You wish to know more about me? I'm flattered. Well, you already know that when I was alive, I had tuberculosis. It was during the time that you would call the Industrial Revolution. Yes, the Industrial Revolution was mostly in Europe, as I was in America. I saved enough coin to go to London. Why London? Well, it was the epicenter of science. I was fascinated by my time there, but the time I noticed something was wrong, it was too late. In my telegrams back home, I never told my family I had the white plague. I tried TB clubs like I said before. But it didn't help with the fact that I had maybe five years to live. I found myself stumbling in pubs, slowly drinking myself to death. Till a woman found me and offered me a second chance at life. For the most part, nights were spent in her embrace. Till she asked me if I truly accept her offer. I told her yes. And then, just like that, her teeth pierced my flesh. It was the most painful thing I've ever experienced, as my life felt like it was being drained away. What was she like? <sighs> she was a remarkable woman with a brilliant mind. When I came to, I woke up in her estate in France, most commonly called a chateau. There she taught me how to use my gifts. She was firm, but fair in her training. I've lost count of how many lives I've taken under my training at that time. How many people I've brought to near death by draining their energy. How many I've killed while they were sleeping and how many I've lost control of with compelling. Don't be, for without them, I would have never learned how to properly control my gifts. So their sacrifice was necessary. No, the worst of my training was when my lady compelled some of the locals to kidnap and torture me, as if they were vampire hunters. 
It was. But it was to prepare me for the real thing, if it ever happened. She did it out of love and to protect me. The locals did their worst. Stabbed, cut, shot, broke bones, burned, and etc. I began to lose track of all time. <sighs> when it was all over, I went into my room in the estate, and to my surprise, the locals that were compelled to hurt me were there, compelled to be an offering to allow me to get back to full strength. To do that, I not only needed their energy, I needed their blood. All of it. I can heal my body if the damage is minor by taking energy, but if it's more severe, then I need blood. No, I didn't turn them, and I didn't keep them as servants either. After I was done, and back at full strength, I beheaded them to prevent them from turning. Needless to say, that my lady wasn't happy. For one, I was very blood drunk, as I've never taken in that much blood before. Plus, there was a mess from my feeding. We tended to differ on things. She didn't like that I didn't take one of them as a slave. I told her I could never agree with the idea of owning another human being as property. But, overall, she understood as we both grew up in different times. Now, I think that's enough strolling down memory lane for one night. Give me your hand, and I can acquire what I came for. <sighs> it's getting late, so if you give me your hand, the sooner you can go back to sleep. I won't compel you to do it. It's your choice. Thank you. Perfect. That's all I need. Now, let's have this cross be the last of your... persuasions to stop me from acquiring your blood, alright? I think I properly introduced myself. My name is Samuel, or Sam, if you'd like. And your name is? Hmm. What a lovely name. Anyway, bonne nuit and pleasant dreams. <laughs>